When to hit a 56 degree? A 56 degree is called a sandwich, so obviously we use it from the sand. Why? Because it's been designed to hit the surface of the sand with this sole and bounce the ball out of the bunker without even touching the golf ball. So the first place we use a sandwich is in a bunker. It's called a 56 degree because that angle from there to there that angle is 56 degrees. It's one of the higher lofted clubs in the bag, probably second highest in most people's bag, and in some people's bag, it's the highest lofted. So that means we're gonna hit loft shots over things. So if you're over here, you probably can't hit a pitching wedge or a nine iron over this bunker to the pin. So we're gonna use the sand wedge because it's got enough loft to loft the ball over onto the green. So when you're going over something, you use the 56. A 56 degree can also be used for chipping. Generally, I don't like to chip much with it, but a lot of people get quite proficient at it. In my opinion, normally if you have, let's say, a 20 yard shot, you're gonna fly it 10, let it roll out another 10. If you have a 12 yard shot, you're gonna let it fly six and roll out six. Another place we can use the 56 degree, because of the big sole and the big bounce, because of that, it can get through this thicker grass. So if you're in the rough, you can use it to get through all that rough instead of like with an iron that's just going to dig in or something with lower bounce. So we can open it up a little bit like a bunker shot from the rough and glide right through the deep grass, make contact with the ball and get the ball out to safety. Another place to use your 56 degree, this one by Tacoma, is to hit it over things. So if you're, in the, if you're behind this big ass tree and you get on the green, you can't punch it through. Let's say you've got something here, you're gonna go over that because you have the second highest or highest loft in your bag. So use the loft to get over things. You can use a 56 degree in this loose soil kind of shot. This is a very confusing shot because sometimes you feel you have to do a bunker splash, sometimes you feel you're going to nip it off the top and neither of those work, you end up fluffing it. So what you can do is take the 56 degree and stand like a putt close to the ball, get that heel off the ground, shaft up like this and if you're nice and aggressive this is going to be a much better way to play this shot. Instead of just puffy chunking it. 56 degree from there is really nice because you remove a lot of the bounce and the sole from the heel and use more of the sole and bounce toward the toe, which is reduced, allowing you to actually make contact with the ball instead of... Obviously, the 56 degree can also be used for full shots. I mean, that's obvious, but you don't wanna be hitting this club too hard. When you start hitting this too hard, you start to generate too much spin. It starts to go too high, wind will affect it, and often, if you get too much spin, it's gonna reduce the distance you hit it, leave it short, and spin it back. This is a club you want to be hitting smooth most of the time. You have to be highly skilled to know how to hit it hard. That's when you're hitting it hard and there's no wind, you know it's going to land somewhere and rip back. But a lot of people get confused with a 56 degree trying to play high spin shots like the pros. We don't need those shots. You need to be swinging this thing smooth most of the time. You never want to hit this thing 100%. The other place we use these wedges is for pitching around 50 yards, 40 yards, 30 yards, up to you but you need to work out your distances by hitting a few of them and understanding it's a finesse club. It's a finesse club, not a power club, not a high spin club. When you start chasing spin with this, you're going to have big problems. Nothing wrong with, being, with hitting a 56 degree that, that lands and rolls a little bit, nothing wrong with that. So we use these for partial shots like this, nice and smooth, 30 yards, 35 yards. That's when to use a 56 degree. Players, whataplayergolf.com. All the polos and accessories and hats you see in these videos is available at whataplayergolf.com. I make them, I produce them, I design them, I handle logistics, everything's in house. It's not a third party merch scam. It's pure apparel from whataplayergolf.com. I make it. Look at this watermelon. We've got the Pineapple Express. We've got the Players Playland Classic. Cock and Balls. Birdies of Paradise. The one that, that Puma copied. The Pillow Fight. We've got palm feather, classic. We've got the planting science. We've got head covers. We've got putters. We've got shorts. We've got 
bucket hats. Every bucket hat is reversible. You can wear it inside out, outside in. That's what I'm talking about. We even have caps, dry fit. I love a good cap. We've got towels. We've got the watermelon towel. We've got the citrus got real shirt. We've got the blooming birdies. Waterplaygolf.com.